Hey everyone, I wanted to do a sort of a state of the art st or current <laughs> state of the art, current state of the art uh, sort of market and sentiment in regards to Web3 NFT land. Uh, I've been noticing like a lot of just mixed emotions in the space, particularly around um, artists' feelings, watching some of their peers pop while they're still trying to find traction or just trying to find their fit in the space. And I think one of the biggest things that gets confused is that you have to run to some of the more elaborate functions of NFTs. Uh, everybody knows right now, open editions are the new hotness. People saw what were some of the bigger names in the industry did with open editions was like, oh, I gotta go get this open edition like <laughs> but that's not even particularly necessary um you you just don't have to do that uh one of the best use cases in my opinion is honestly just using it as a certification for your piece uh sinclair right now is the first or the only artist i can think of the t off the top of my head that i'm currently uh, uh, aware of and have sort of a, a very light relationship with that is even doing this right now uh, when you go to his page you'll see he does just have digital artworks that are just nfts they are digital artworks and you know that is that digital art as an nft but he also has some of his physical pieces um which are amazing uh, i saw his main running through my mind piece at the, his uh, gallery launch with I'm Not Art and loved it. And I was like, man, that would look fire in the living room. But uh, no, if you go on his uh, uh, his foundation page, you will see that he has that piece and others that are NFTs as a certificate of the physical. What I mean by that is you get the NFT, like the digital display of the piece, but you also get the canvas piece and i'll be honest with you a lot of you physical artists um go crazy with the mediums that you choose and, and um the canvas but with the uh oils the pastels the um tuan has this really dope piece that was displayed at his pop-up at navy pier it looks like it was made with charcoal i'm not 100 percent sure but i loved it i wanted to walk off with it and I don't know it just i'm speaking to uh the lack of support i don't want to say lack of support but i want to speak to you don't have to play the nft game and what is for you is for you um you can chase fomo if you want you can make that a part of your marketing strategy as an artist and make your brand about that or you can um kind of stay truer to your passion and your love and do the one of one games nfts don't have to be a gamified burn to own open edition there's nothing wrong with that uh, there's a lot of cool stuff coming out like that obviously everyone at this point knows terrell and he's going crazy and shout out to terrell i love terrell man he he gave me an interview when he definitely did not need to with the state my my page was in but he did it anyway so i'm always going to show love to terrell regardless but you know that's not for every artist out there to leverage some of y'all have real real one of one paint canvas oil charcoal talent leverage that um my biggest piece that i have in my uh my ownership the biggest piece I own now is this abstract piece. And the artist sent it to me from Germany. Uh, her name is Manuela Knott. Um, and it came with a little certificate of ownership. It was on a little yellow piece of paper. I lost it in maybe the first week. Luckily for me, I didn't buy it for a flip. I bought it because I loved it and it spoke to me and I love how it looked and how it was designed. Um, but an NFT would have came in handy then as far as ownership i can just lock that away in a wallet and just have it um retrieve it whenever i was needed but uh the artist she uh shipped it with a piece of paper and it just fell through and you know and i lost it so i just want i guess what i'm trying to say is i want artists to to realize that 
other artists are going to pop around you and you're not always going to get the visibility that you probably deserve. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, Walea Zway, she went on to get her piece featured at Sotheby's. That is insane. The tier of um, art and just luxury items that sell at that level. She had a piece there, but she still has a collection open with art pieces uh, that you can mint freely available. There's no hype on them right now or anything like that, uh, but I think it looks amazing. I love the angle that they take. I love the colors that she uses in the pieces. Uh, you have to find what your lane is. There's very few differences at least from a selling and marketing standpoint between art and music. It's all subjective, but what you see in music is you see bigger brands, you see music labels pushing, marketing, shilling, and I understand artists not wanting to get in that bag because it you kind of start to, I could see where, I'm not an artist myself, but I could see where one would start to feel like it's like a dog and pony show constantly having to be in Twitter spaces or doing exhibitions or trying to collab with bigger accounts and have them give you your due deserve um, your due deserve hype it, 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 it is exhausting but it's it's up to the artist to find the right balance for them you can be in the nft in the web 3 game and only use the quote unquote NFT function as a certificate of owning your physical pieces. Don't think you have to jump into every elaborate mechanism that Manifold puts out. Again, no hate on Manifold. They're helping a lot of artists roll stuff out and their tech is really dope and really reliable. We need that in this space right now. Um, but you don't have to do that. You know, there is such a thing as over engineering. There is such a thing as too many chefs in the kitchen. If your bread and butter is making really, really, really dope one of ones with oil, watercolor, charcoal, bats, you know, whatever it is, high like that. Stick to your one of ones and promote the fact that you can get certificate of ownership through those um, through an NFT. You don't have to play the Twitter Spaces hype game if you don't want to, just focus on being a dope artist. Or if you do want to go that route, that open edition route, understand what you're getting into. That's gonna mean like, an, like it's kind of funny to say it, but like an album rollout, they talk about this all the time with different artists and stuff. You're gonna have to do an album art rollout with a trailer, with uh, probably a co-promoter, something like that to help you get your get your piece out there or your collection out there but you don't have to do that as a requirement and yeah man that's all i wanted to say uh, shout out to all these artists in, out here right now hustling and putting stuff out in the middle of a bear market it's hard out here for everybody some artists are going to pop some are not but as long as you're doing what you love you should be able to uh, you know to keep going and sustain and just work out the balance of time work out uh the balance of you know rest because you know this is a marathon not a sprint guys we have a probably a long ways to go while this market crabs along before you know the money printers turn back on but you know we'll see but anyway that's the end of this video i just wanted to put this out there show love to the the artists that i care about and just kind of speak on it because you know it seems to be uh, a relevant topic these days but no i'll holler at y'all later